Hey Battletech fans, one of the things that I've been thinking about lately as I'm getting back into Battletech, now I'm a seasoned war gamer, I've been doing this a long time, but I played Battletech a lot uh, back in the day uh, and coming back to it. And one of the things that I'm thinking about and realizing is that there's a lot of people coming back to the hobby and there's a lot of people coming into the Battletech tabletop war gaming hobby that are new. And there's a lot of stuff out there. Battletech has been around for a really long time. Um, it's, you know, it's shown up in a lot of forms. There's Battletech and there's Alpha Strike and there's all sorts of different things. And so if you're new coming into Battletech, either for uh, the first time or you are coming back after a long hiatus, it could, I, I got to thinking it could be pretty overwhelming with all the stuff that you're looking at. It's like, oh, where do I start? what do I do? You know, what do I look at? How do I get inspiration? How do I know what to get? Um, and I thought as I'm kind of, as I've been pulling together, you know, my battle tech goodness over the last several th months, I thought it might be a good idea to share what I've learned. And so that's the inspiration for this video. And so I hope you'll bear with me. There's a little bit of uh, this is kind of like a data dump. Um, I just wanted to share all the goodness that I've stumbled upon in my um, learnings over the last few months, and I'll share it here with you. Uh, hopefully you'll find it of use. So one of the things that I did is I kind of started pulling together all the resources of the things that I've been looking at. This is by no means an exhaustive list, and this is by no means a recommendation of things that I feel like you need to do to be a better or a good Battletech player. These are simply just the things that I have found in my journey uh, getting back into Battletech, and I wanted to share that with you. So I'm just going to let it rip. So and these are I've categorized these in different uh, into different sections. There's in no particular order. There's no particular rhyme or reason to these sections the way I put them together, other than that they they, they just seemed like logical groupings to me. And I'll put the URLs or the resources there listed as as I go through it. So the first area that I found was kind of tabletop inspiration, tactica, and just kind of all around good battle tech discourse discussion topics in general all that good stuff. So some of the best resources that I've found are Wargamer Fritz. Now he is a longtime YouTuber. He's got lots of different content and one of his channels is uh, for Battletech. So the link is here. Uh, I'll put the link in the show notes as well. You should totally check this guy out. Uh, he's been an inspiration to me as I'm getting back into Battletech. So I really encourage you to check him out. Uh, I really like listening to his tactica. I really like listening to his stories and how the lore fits the narrative and fits the gaming and like how, you know, using the battle mechs on the field are kind of a an outcome of um, contracts with different uh, houses that with vendors that build these battle mechs for the parts and whatnot, and like lots of great analogies to the sort of the real world and kind of making the world real. So I really enjoyed his dissertation on the Battletech universe. So I really encourage you, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to check that one out. Another YouTuber that I'm really enjoying listening to is a gentleman named Hellcrex26. He's got a lot of great Battletech content out there. He's got um, mech reviews and battle reports and just general Battletech discussion. I really like his laid back style and he talks about stuff and he kind of puts his spin on things. Um, and it's really enjoyable to listen to and he kind of goes over his collection at one point. I just like my head is spinning of how he's been collecting battle mechs uh, and Battletech stuff over the years. Um, really inspirational. Go check that guy out. You're going to have a lot of fun listening to him. So the next section that I've sort of been subscribing to and listening to, if you're really interested in the lore and the battle tech and kind of the, the fluff of the universe and kind of like where these battle mechs came from and what they're all about and what's going on in the universe to kind of give you some notion of like how the story evolves in the Battletech universe, go check out a gentleman named Critical Rocket. Got the URL here. He talks a lot about the houses and how they were formed and like how... Um, you know, the succession wars ended and going into the clans and the jihad. And he also has some vi uh, videos there that kind of talk about from the, um, the, the people within the universe's perspective as the clan invasions start. And so it's just kind of like, you know, mission briefings uh, of people in the inner sphere kind of talking about um, how the, the clan mechs are, are kind of coming in and invading. And I, I thought that was really fun to listen to. So go check him out. Another great 
uh, source of information on lore and particularly battle mech reviews and the history, not necessarily like the zeros and ones or the, the you know, the numbers or the crunchy numbers of the battle mechs, but sort of the lore and the history of how these things were built, where they were built, why they were built, um, and, and kind of their battle histories. Uh, there's a gentleman named Grim, Grim Dark Narrator, another YouTuber. Go check him out. He's got some really, he's got a long list of content. Go listen to his videos. Um, really fun listening to how all these battle mechs came to be. Um, so in addition to that, there's a website called Sarna. So I think this is basically the, I don't know if this is the biggest Battletech wiki, but it's the biggest one that I've stumbled upon. Uh, so go check that out. There's like information from all the technical readouts. There's information from, you know, the histories and the lore and the background and the stories and the narratives and whatnot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of information there. So if you're interested in the lore or just information on mechs or information on the characters in the universe, pretty much it's all there. So go check that out. Um, I'm going to shift gears here a little bit, and I'm going to go into a little bit more of the hobby. So there's some stuff that you can go check out for, like, painting and paint schemes and modeling and painting resources, and I'm going to list them here. So one of the ones that I stumbled upon early on was something called Unit Color Compendium. I got the URL here. That's a great place to go look at there's paint schemes for the different great houses and merc companies and uh, all the different factions within the Battletech universe. And it kind of shows you in a lot of detail how, you know, how the regiments are painted up or, you know, their color scheme so that you can replicate that on the battle on the Battletech tabletop. Another great one that I've looked at is called Camo Specs Online. There's YouTube and I think there's also a, a blog there that you can take a look at. Um, and he also does some um, painting tutorials and how these things are painted up and as so I really enjoy listening to him and watching how he replicates those color schemes uh, on the battle max on the tabletop. Um, in terms of modeling, uh, there's another um, company that is uh, associated with ma making stuff for the Battletech universe. And if you're into decals or decals, I think some people call them, I call them decals. I don't know if that's right. Uh, or, tra or, or, you know, water slide transfers. If you like having uh, decals on your mechs, there's a company that actually creates decals for uh, Battletech and that's called Fighting Piranha Graphics. I put those on, I've been putting those on my Karita mechs. Um, I've got them for a couple of other houses. Um, I intend to use them. They're, um, they're great little decals. They're small enough to where they fit, but they also have bigger ones that you, if you want a bigger emblem on some of your larger battle mechs, you're going to have a nice, nice little graphic that you can water slide transfer onto your battle mech. I've got the URL here. So, you know, go check out their site. They literally have water slide transfer sheets for like multiple regiments of each house and Merc company on their website. It takes a little while to get them. So you order them over. You have to send them an email saying what you want. They'll sell you, send you a PayPal invoice. I believe I could have that part wrong, but you kind of order what you want over an email. You pay for it and it takes a couple weeks for you to get it, but the, the decals are really nice. And I don't know of anyone else who's doing, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know of anyone else who's doing, um, uh, decals for Battletech. So if, if that's your jam, I know it's my jam. Uh, if that's your jam, uh, go check those guys out. Um, one of the other things that I'm always into is like, I feel like war gamers are sort of like sports fans in the sense that, um, you know, some people watch football on TV, war gamers watch battle reports on TV and I'm no exception. So my, my guilty pleasure of football, uh, in the football season is battle reports. So one of the, um, <clears throat> areas I wanted to talk about was um, battle reports. And one of the ones that I have found that I'm really, really enjoying is, is a group of guys called Death From Above Wargaming. If you have not checked these guys out, great battle reports. They do a hexless style that um, I'm really finding myself enjoying as well. They do lance on lance uh, battle reports. Um, and they've even started doing some campaigns, really beautiful tabletops, really fun uh, narrative games that they put together. Um, you can tell that the guys enjoy playing with each other so that, you know, they are they are clearly having fun. And so if you like watching battle reports, um, I really, really encourage you guys to check these guys out. Oh, and another thing that these guys do is, you know, you'll find a lot of the resources that I've already talked about. They talk about you know, they analyze the mechs and how good they are. These guys actually do a really detailed technical, like, 
data analysis. They call it datalytics engine, I believe they call it. Um, they do a really detailed technical analysis of all the mechs, and they've been publishing these over time. So they've just they kind of started. I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, but and they've got like three or four or five of them out there already. But they they they're putting them out there um, on a regular cadence. So those are really fun to watch. Like if you're a data head, you need to go check those out. Uh, some of the other uh, groups that I've seen doing battle reports. There's a group called Fire at Will TV. I think they do more Alpha Strike, but I still great battle tech content. You should check those out. And other other groups that do battle reports are Steel Warrior Battle Reports, Probable Cause, Ouchies Battle Reports, and Hellcrex 26 does some too. Like Ouchies, I think hasn't done some in a little while, but uh, the ones that I have watched were really good. Um, Two other mentions that I uh, want to put out there, you've probably already seen these if you've gotten into it uh, at least a little bit, are there's a couple of Facebook groups that I'm following and, uh, and checking out. So check out Classic Battletech and then Battletech International. Those are some great Facebook groups uh, that you can kind of listen in on the discussions or watch and comment or you know get some other pointers um, on the Battletech universe. So those are the resources, the most common resources that I've dug up to start learning uh, and getting plugged into the Battletech universe. But I'm sure, again, these are not my sole recommendations. I'm sure there's lots of other stuff out there. I'd love to hear from you. What Battletech resources do you use as a Battletech enthusiast? What have you been looking at? Um, you know, What do you find interesting? Hey, comment on this video and let, let the community know if there's other stuff out there that you are really enjoying uh, that I've missed. I'd love to go see it too. So let's share the love. Hey, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, let me know. If you want to see more things like this, uh, please comment there. And uh, let's keep sharing that Battletech love.